The mission of the School of Education at St. John's University is in Vincentian in nature. And it means that we want to reach out, we want to help the poor, we want to help the underprivileged, and uh, that also aligns with my own personal view of what it means to be an educator. I know that as a first generation college graduate myself, that I see the power of education and how it can make a difference in lives. And so I want every child to be the very best version of themselves they can be. About a year and a half ago, I had an invitation from a headhunter to look at the Dean of Education job at St. John's University. The long-term dean was retiring, and at first I thought, I'm living in Arizona, it's so nice and warm, and having lived in Connecticut before, I thought it might be kind of hard to go back to the land of winter. But when I started thinking about the opportunity to lead a major college of education in the largest school district in the country, 1.1 million kids, and then when I started studying the faculty, I saw great strengths in terms of the research interest, the publications, uh, the challenge was just irresistible. There was a passion that drives people that want to be teachers, that are educators, and I think that's what I see most of all. It's a uh, caring, it's a giving, it's a uh, thinking about others. I started writing when I was eight years old. My first publication was when I was eight. I wrote a story for Boys Life magazine, got paid $25, and so from that point on, I always wanted to be a writer, I think. Favorite part of being an author is going out to the schools every week. I, I pick one morning a week, and I go to one school in New York City or Long Island, and I uh, read them my books, and I encourage them to be readers because it's through reading that you can really become a writer. As a classroom teacher myself, I noticed that certain kids struggled with reading and others found reading easy. But those that struggled seemed to need some way to connect with stories. And so I started off uh, trying to write stories that kids were interested in, things that, such as sports. And once they have the interest, then they want to read the story. And once a child hears it with their ears, they can read it through their eyes because it touches their heart. Mm -hmm.